Hello everyone, welcome to Bodum Science. So today we are going to understand this very basic program of Fortran that is uh, to calculate the area of a circle. So uh, to calculate the area of circle, we know that we we must use this uh, this basic formula that is pi r square and r is just radius of a circle. Okay. So now let's understand this program. So in the first line, we just have declared the name of the program that is circle underscore area. So after that, we have just uh, written this statement called implicit none, which helps to helps to uh, declare every variable, every variable explicitly. So uh, without this statement, uh, you uh, the variables uh, starting with i, j, i, j, k, l, m uh, will be integers. So this is the old feature of Fortran. So if you do not use this implicit none statement, then the variable starting from this characters will be integers by default so to avoid this problem we just wrote this statement called implicit none so that uh, we can declare every variable uh, also with these names by ourselves so there will be no ambiguity with the uh, previous feature of fortran so in the next statement what we have declared is uh, that is one uh, variable for radius that we will take from the user and we have uh, declared a variable with uh, with the value of pi that is 3.141 and then the variable in which our area will be stored at the end so uh, this is just a print statement which is uh, just uh, telling that program is starting and it is uh, just saying that program to calculate area of a circle it is just uh, just for the title purpose and after that we have use this uh, statement for printing that uh, we want radius from user so this is it and from here we are we are asking from the user to enter the radius so this read statement helps uh, us to get input from the user so whatever input you provide it will goes into the variable of radius so this radius takes the input from user and after that uh, the uh, the area will be calculated so this variable will take the area as I have mentioned before so in that area we know that formula that is area of a circle is equals to pi r square so this is it so we are using pi and into this r square for squaring we just use these two stars that is r square so this this happens like this and after that after calculating this area we just print that area on the screen so and after in the end we just use this statement to end the program successfully so now check the now check how the program is working for us and let's uh, compile it let's uh, wait just a second yeah it is compiled successfully and after that what we have to do is uh, we just have to compile it and we just have to build it and then execute so this is the output screen let me zoom it a little bit for you so in the first line we just have written that program to calculate area of a circle and this is a little advertisement from our website and uh, then we are asking for the user to enter the radius of a circle to calculate the area of a circle so let me just uh, giving give it the radius of a circle that is i am just giving it two here two is the radius then it will give us the area of the circle so the area is calculated as 12.564 so uh, that's uh, it for now i hope you understand this program the code of this program is available on our website uh, and the link is in the description below. So thanks for watching it. I hope you liked it. Thank you. Bye-bye